Hey folks, Rick here from Lala Farm. Welcome to episode five of Rick versus Rodents. So we kind of saw the the four generations of um, Rick versus Rodent mechanisms that we've tried so far to get rid of of the rodents that we have on the farm. So by the time spring rolls around, we're going to have released uh, our four kittens that we've been that we've been raising that were a, a litter of feral kittens that we adopted. Um, actually, they're going to get. Uh, fixed and neutered uh, next week as well as get all of their shots and once that happens we're going to start assigning them their farm location so one of them we're going to put up in the front chicken coop they've been raised around chickens since they started um, but that'll be a whole nother video so what i've done here is we have built a trap design that i first saw on another channel that we watch um, pretty regularly two and a half acres they've been real supportive of our channel in terms of helping us get our watch hours originally and i've just come to really enjoy uh watching their family uh watching the channel in general um very family oriented channel but they had a similar rat and mice problem uh that we did um and the trap that they used it was an internet based um trap and it worked um, they were catching mice as soon as they set it out unlike some of our uh, earlier uh, generations of trap that we have tried um, so let me show you what, what we've done here this is kind of a modified compared to what they did but the overall design I'm gonna I'm gonna attribute to them um, so this is a five gallon bucket this is an old paint can that I had laying around I want to use one of my good buckets I used one of my good buckets and that's the one they chewed through um, I thought I could just kind of um, you know once I'm done catching rats I'll you know clean up the bucket and I'm gonna have a good bucket so I'm not using another one of my good buckets to have them chew through if that's the result I don't think it's gonna be because this one's pretty fundamentally different in its design starts with a five gallon bucket what I've taken so this system works on really this right here so we've got a steel bar that I had in the, in the shop um, and it goes basically drilled a half inch hole on this side a half inch hole on this side and ran that bar through Inside of it is this piece of PVC pipe that will roll on this on this steel bar So one change one fundamental change in this design from the two and a half acres design is I built this hood out of half inch hardware cloth i just took probably 10 12 inches off the end of the roll cut it straight across and then kind of fitted it onto the top of this bucket now the reason that i wanted to put a hood on this is that um i don't know that it's it's probably a little bit of overkill there's going to be a ladder that comes into this trap so they will walk up this two by four and then they will get on to that rolling um, piece of PVC in here. Now the bait for this, I'm going to put way on the other side of this, and you'll notice that the hood here is closed up. So the only way that they're going to be able to get into this trap is through this hole, and that will have the two by four to allow them to get up in there. So they're going to climb up the two by four, get onto this rolling piece of PVC is kind of like one of them, one of them lumber, you ever see the lumberjack Olympics where uh, they get onto the roll and they have a competition on who can roll the other off by balancing on the log in the water. Same principle here. As soon as they step on this, what my belief is, is that it's going, they're going to roll off. And it worked well uh, in their, in two and a half acres design. So that's what I expect to happen here. Now in the bottom of this bucket is basically a couple gallons of water. It's enough to where they're going to drown and they can't jump back up here because they're, they're in water. So that's the functionality of this trap. They go into the hole, the bait will be way over on this side and I'm gonna use a combination of peanut butter and chicken feed as the bait because that has worked well in our other traps. They really like that. Um, I've used it, they will take it every single time, but they haven't necessarily set off our traps. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then uh, we're gonna set this out and see if we get any better results than we did uh, with the four prior trap methods. So 
that is about eh, a little over a third full uh, with water. And we're going to take this whole bucket over into the coop. Just set it right up here. Set it. I'm gonna set it sideways. So there's the ramp, and it will go up into the bucket here. This will spin, and it's got water below it. So let's see how this one works. Hey, little man. All right, I hope this uh, hope this trap works. Um, I want episode five to be the last episode. Always remember, treat others as you would like to be treated. <laughs>